full tech. Big Flo, Flo Lazar. This video is sponsored by Big Flo. It's also sponsored by St. Auger Cheese. I've got, my, I've got my cheese knife handy here. Or at least it should be sponsored by St. Auger Cheese because I, need a, a, I eat enough of the bloody stuff. And uh, that's my vice. Doesn't matter how healthy you get, that never goes. So there we go. How's everybody? How is everybody? Hopefully, hopefully well and fine and healthy. As I am feeling. <clears throat> yeah, I was up in, I would say that I, North Glasgow, isn't it? Kind of the Berlanark area, Easter House area. Met a pal of mine today. Met Stephanie Bonner and Scott and their kids. The bold Steph. She's some woman. Part of a lion. Big shout out to the Bonners. Hashtag justice for Reese. Reese Bonner. I'm sure you'll have heard of it. If you haven't, type it into Facebook and you'll see what it is. Send a love to Stephanie and her family. They're good people. Proper good people. Big hearts. And, uh, yeah. Lovely to bump into them. They're just, you know, they're just uh, folk that let you know where you are in life. You think you've got a couple of issues and then you meet people that have been through hell and back. And, uh, hi, amazing. Lovely to see you. Big hello. Big shout out to Steph and her family. They're great people. It's lovely to meet them. Chuffed with that. Chuffed I bumped into them. So I had a, one of the days where the first half of the day was spent chilling and uh, the second half of the day or tonight is going to be spent in a boxing gym, hopefully hitting a bag, getting punished, we'll take, we'll take it easy, but what, what I'm going to be doing, what day is this? Tuesday. So I'm looking at probably doing a live on Thursday night. I, it will be me, myself, or it will, or I will have a guest on. I'm just waiting for someone to confirm with me. So hopefully we might have a, an interesting guest, which will become a weekly occurrence. Someone else that wants to tell their story via myself. And that's what it's here for. That's what the whole that's the whole point of me being on social media now. Uh, I'm not gonna there's not really much else for it other than giving people a voice. I've decided that that's the thing that I enjoy doing the most. Helping people out and giving them a, any access to a wider audience that I can via my platform, however small or big it it appears to be it's a good starting block for people to get out there and give them some confidence and a plenty up so I have been talking to a lot of interesting folk the past past week and again lots more stories coming in lots more stories of oblivion and people who have been at the at the end of the world in the darkness and somehow have fought back and are fighting back still, those 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 people are salute. If it's you, you'll know it's about you. And if you're if you're taking on the fight and you're giving an account of yourself, however however much the struggle is, you have my respect and don't give up. Don't ever back down, don't give up to it. So I caught up with Big John, I dropped him a message, asked him how he was, he's telling me he's out in the gym doing his training and stuff, which is brilliant to hear, and I, I, I've invited myself down, big man, I'm sure you'll know mind, I'm coming to get a, a beasting off you in the gym, I'll be coming down and uh, getting my getting my Ron Hills on, and my gym slippers, so get the coffee ready, and uh, I'll come and visit you, you can put me through my paces, blow the cobwebs off, See if I'm as stiff as I feel. I need to loosen up a wee bit. 
get my get my wraps and my mitts looked out. In fact, I'm just sitting there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to a, a wee a wee thrashing. Get my head back into it. I was lucky enough to have a conversation a few days ago with someone, and uh, I was just talking about balance and how I got here. And again today I spoke to a friend of mine who has just charged on through life, a bit like myself, trying to accumulate as much as he could and do as much as he could and provide as much as he could and all the rest of it, one way or another, with our, you know, our savvy or whatever it is that we have, entrepreneurial minds, we certainly don't have backlogs of uh, qualifications, we don't have that, but we do have grit and work ethic and abundance and he's done really well in life while looking after those close to him and never forgetting his own roots and uh, he is ready to grow his business even further and he's someone that commands respect, he's a serious guy, he has always been a serious guy and uh, I've got great respect for him and I don't, I wouldn't normally name him but his name's Jason McWilliams and he's a bad head guy and he's a bloody hard worker so a shout out to you Jason and I hope that you're finding what you're looking for buddy you certainly have my attention and it's always great to catch up with you he was a guy that reached out to me and offered me a, a hand when I least expected it or maybe when people closer to me might might have might have done and for whatever reason didn't. Up pops Jason in my radar and offers me a me a punt up. Never to be forgotten, buddy. Respect. So I I'll get a coffee with him soon. So, in the in the conversation I had with someone a few days ago, we discussed what we're both trying to achieve, and mine was balance. I just said I'm looking for a bit of balance. Uh, something I've probably never had, but something I'm working hard on now. And you get the slips and the trips and the bumps and the dips, you get it all. You know, a couple of days ago I was in hospital with a headache thought that was it, my chips were up, turns out no, I'm fine, absolutely fine, in fact right now as I sit here, I feel fighting fit, I feel as if I'm firing in all four cylinders because someone's gave me a lease of life and you know, brought a bit of, a bit of balance to me uh, and a bit of you know, good will and good spirit and just a bit of energy and just it just takes someone to put their hand out and say you know and, and that's all it takes just just a just a wee hand out how difficult is that for anyone to do that i would have lost count of times in my life that i've offered to try and help somebody uh, for no return because I could, at the time I could and I was there and they were there and they needed it, so you, you help, it's just what you do, or it's at least what we should be doing, and sometimes I think to myself, do you ever truly know yourself if you've gone through your life having been able to, but never helped somebody, or did a good thing, or did a deed, you know, we're not all perfect, but for every mistake you make, you should try and balance the books and do something decent on a kind of pay it forward basis. And I just think to myself, I know some people when you, you kind of look at them and although you grow apart and you say, what what have you ever done? You've got a, you've got a, you've got a great asset available, but I don't see you maybe using it the way I would like to or hope that you would. Kind of, it's a shame when people get so focused and blinkered 
that they miss those round about them that maybe need it. I think folk, people should take a stock, take a minute and just try and do something for somebody around about you because it might make you feel great. And if you feel great without doing it, brilliant, how off to you. I wish I had that mentality. I, I, I wish I, I just had a buzz about me all the time doing my own thing. I have to look for it. I have to look for something to do. And I seem to get a bit more of a buzz if I can give a brother a punt up or just help somebody out. It just, I don't know, it's like it's like having a spoonful of medicine. It makes you feel good. It's like a spoonful of goodness. So, if, if you know, we live in these times now where every single thing is horrid and horrible. And uh, I seen a girl's post today in my page and she's talking about the, the fuel prices in an, in an area of Glasgow. An area of Glasgow, it's a, you know, it's a working class area. There's no money in it. And these crippling fuel costs... And, you know, people with a blase attitude will go, I just don't drive, just walk. That's no practical for mums doing school runs and going shopping, you know, six bags of shopping five mile away. Are you going to carry it home? But while you've got three or four kids, it's ridiculous. These privatised fuel companies are just crippling people and then they're posting £10 billion profits. We make the fuel, guys. We, we, we run it through Grangemouth, we produce it. Our infrastructure's been in place in the North Sea for 50, 60, 70 years. <laughs> if anything, it should be getting cheaper. It shouldn't be getting more expensive. We're in control of it. The fact is our governments have sold us down the Swanee and sold us all off. So other countries own us now. They own us and they own our assets. And that's why you're paying through the nose for fuel and utilities, all the privatised companies. Ele electricity and gas should be publicly owned. Should it be making 50, 50 billion a quarter in profits? Should be publicly owned so that people can actually live and perhaps put a little bit of their money away for a rainy day and have a holiday and have a little bit of savings when they hit when they hit old age instead of three and four thousand pound a year to heat your house and put the lights on so your kids don't walk into the wall when they get up for the toilet. It's disgusting. Don't accept it. Fight. You've got to fight in you. Use it and fight. And eh... Uh, Put your fingers up to authority and say, nah, stop with the bullying, stop with the fraud, stop with the deception, stop with the lies. We're not we're not tolerating it anymore. And if people can help the people and stand together and use a collective voice instead of allowing division in the door, hatred, you know, one football team to another, the two the two big sides of Glasgow, Catholic, Protestant, all the hate. Bullshit. It's absolute bullshit, all of it. Don't care if it upsets you. That's my opinion. Yeah, you can tune out if you feel. It's just ridiculous. We allow them to divide us continually. And it's wrong. See, if we stood together, man, what a force we would be. We would be an absolute force of nature. The rest of the world would stand up and take notice and say, look at the way the Scottish, look at the way the English, look at the way the British are living. You know, that's what we should be doing. Instead of allowing scumbags to dictate our lives, everyone's in debt. People are terrified. All these all these letters that are coming through the door with the rises in uh, utilities and folk are saying, how, how are we going to live? How are we going to pay the kids? How are we going to feed the kids? And, you know, how are we going to pay for that holiday we've been paying up and booked for six or seven or eight months' time? It's absolutely scandalous, man. It's wrong. It's wrong in every level. It ain't funny. But the fight is in us. You know what I mean? I meet people and they've, they've had a shit deal. They've had so much done to them. And they've had no help. Eh, no help at all for the powers that be. And yet there they are every day. Living. Getting on. Fighting the good fight. And just taking the fight to them. Because they won't be broken anymore. People like Stephanie Bonner. And heart of a lion, man, that woman, honest to God. <sighs> Could all learn something from her. Anyway, so there we go. So I'm going to go and do a bit of training. And yeah, I've had a good few days where I've been thinking about a lot of things and trying to find a bit of happiness and a bit of balance, and that's the key. Eating healthy. 
looking after myself and it's working it's definitely working and uh, it's doable for anybody it's within everybody's grasp if you're living around it if you're living around the bad stuff the negative stuff again as I always say get rid show at the door show at the door with immediate effect there's no time like the present there is no time like the present get rid of it lock the door lock it out cut it off delete it block it you know if you're a if you're an adult and you're spending your time <laughs> you know messaging people shit trying to ruin their lives and I can get over it man honest to god stop spreading your negative crap in people well there's a there's a there's a place and there's a time for everything and anything and the place and the time for me tonight is going to find a boxing gym where somebody won't beat me to a pulp too badly however I'm looking forward to it because sometimes you just need that there's nothing like getting a Met, there's nothing like meeting your match and getting your wings clipped and just feeling it it makes you feel alive that big adrenal release big release of adrenaline and you rush your blood when somebody clocks you right in the button <laughs> it's brilliant so that's where I'm heading and, I, and I'm going to give a bit of focus to it recently to, to training and in the future going forward I'm going to give a lot more focus to building my fitness up properly again I had a lot of surgery in my shoulder and some issues and I got rotator cuff rebuilt and then I had sepsis and stuff and I had various surgeries and I wanted to build it up again and get focusing uh, some issues with my hand which has always been an issue it's been broken quite a few times quite badly you know mostly my own fault I hate to admit but I'm going to get the, the wraps on and the gloves and go and clock up a few miles. And I feeling good, feeling sharp. Feeling sharp today. Firing on all four cylinders. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Didn't need to drink anything or take any drugs to get the buzz. It's life. It's just the good life. Surrounding yourself with good people. Even if you only surround yourself with one person, make sure they're the right person. That's the key. That is the key. Somebody that gives you good energy and brings the best out of you. Wants you to be healthy. Wants the best for you. Somebody that's got your back. If you can find them, that's who you need to be with. Friend, whoever, partner, it doesn't matter. Make sure they're the right person. So I there we go. And I've got a couple of mates that are on the journey and they're training as well and it's great to see them. Uh, great to see them doing well. A couple of the Glasgow boys are focusing on themselves as well and getting fit and battering the gym and just living the better life. I love to see it. It's brilliant. What a buzz. What a buzz seeing people coming into their 40s and starting to live and starting to realise what's important, which is their, the them, their personal bubble, fitness, mind. You know, it's all the same machine one thing bounces off the other it's one big circle if there's a bit missing if there's something out of sync it affects everything else so i i love it i love seeing it i love hearing about it as well and uh, if anybody picks anything up for the videos and they say oh that made a change i think that's fantastic so i really appreciate the feedback so watch out for i'll, po I'll put a wee post on and i did speak about transitioning from my Facebook to my, my YouTube channel, AC Coming Back to Life. I'm trying to close everything into one thing and stop kind of spreading myself over the, the, the multiple platforms. I've got an Instagram as well, AC Shine a Light, but I've never really capitalised on Instagram. I don't do much with it, probably because I don't really know much about it. TikTok, I haven't done anything with it. People keep telling me to go on it. I don't know anything about it, really. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a bit clueless. I quite like YouTube uh, and I can work it easy so it's got to be easy for me because I'm a bit daft when it comes to tech uh, anyway so 
I've got some, I've got a guy helping me, my mate Lee Goodwin. He's on YouTube, the Aqua Adventurer. Lee does diving over in Belfast, ex Royal Marine. Lee's brilliant, he's a great guy. Got Ryan Mack as well. Bully Balang over in uh, Indonesia. Ryan's ex army, he's got a massive channel, he's an adventurer. Does amazing, his videos are out of this world. Uh, big shout out to Ryan as well. Again, offers you help. Uh, you know, tells you, tells you, he follows you, and he supports you, and you know, and I'm like, you, you support me. His channel's bloody massive. He's huge. He's a cracking guy, man. He offers you help. He sends me videos and voice messages telling how to do stuff, like with YouTube, telling me where I'm going wrong, and because I'm clueless, I totally, I was very, very grateful for Ryan's help. Again, Ryan's like a stranger, and you know, we start talking and. Got an odd mutual pal here and there before you know it, we're bantering away and he's inviting me to Indonesia and stuff like that. What a guy. Big shout out. Cracking bloke. Uh, very generous, genuine guy. Rare. Rare human being. As is Lee Goodwin. So there we go guys, that's a wee catch up. I don't know if I was just rabbling there. I probably was because I'm I'm, I'm in a good mood. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that block of cheese and then go to the gym, which you might say it defeats the purpose, but cheese to me is happiness, right? And I can still train. Cheese is happiness. I'm not trying to have a six pack. I'm not going to be on the beach with my speedos. So uh, I'll, I'll scalp that cheese with a couple of crackers and that'll be that. Then we'll make a move. So nice talking. And I uh, hope everybody's well. Staying healthy. Stay humble. Keep the focus. Keep up the good fight. Tuesday, so yep, yeah, I'll do a live on Thursday and I'll have some information on Thursday night and the, uh, hopefully a lot of people tune in. Uh, if it's not a live with somebody because we maybe can't get it arranged for then, I'm going to do a part two on my friend and uh, tune in for that, guys, all right? Thank you very much. Take care and all the best. Cheers for, cheers for listening. Good night. Thanks.